So, Brandon, are we done? Yes. We're done with drums? <coughs> uh, from no, one to a do, ten, uh, do how would you feel about memories. your drums? Eleven. Eleven? I think I'm more like a three and a half. <laughs> three point five. And how did the click tracks go? The clicks were on How point. were the scratch tracks? Were they in time? No. Oh, were they in fucking time, Tony? <laughs> is just a fun song mostly just to talk about fucking beheading a king uh totally inspired by uh, the french revolution and uh i thought it'd be cool have some cool imagery alex wrote it mostly me and him like jammed it and then we brought it to the band um what i like about it most is it's really straightforward it's heavy um it's got like that at the gates old school metal feel with uh, Guillotine, I was like, no, I can just be straightforward with my vocals and hey, it'll complement everything pretty fucking well. Guillotine is a track that I wasn't into at first. I didn't really like it too much. I felt it was very, very simple, but um, that was from my perspective. Everybody else really liked the song, so I kept I kept uh, an open mind, and when we hit the studio and I was hearing how the bass tracks were coming in, the drums, the details in Brandon's drums, because a lot of times when you're writing a song, you don't hear all the details in somebody else's performance, you hear them back when they're recording. To the Gideon was written by Alex. He came with the song, we tweaked it a little, a little bit from what he, what he originally brought in. So it would fit like the sound that we're going for in the band. You know, I just joined the band and I'm all about that thrash sound. So uh, that wasn't what we were looking for. So I was like, all right, well, what about this? I mean, it was really just everyone writing in. All they brought in was like three riffs. And we just built from that and just collectively made a kind of like a jam out. So for me, it's like a jam out fucking head banging song. I agree with Alex. Don't huh? cut it off. Don't let you sing murderous rain. Uh, Something like that. Uh, like, right. Like, this, like, like, when we see the flame, burning is rain. Burning is rain? Yeah. Yeah, the rain part, don't cut it off. Okay. The part after that sounds sick, though. The high right. sounded good. So just the low sound. Okay, yeah, let's just redo the low then. I was, looking at, I was looking at artwork. I was looking at different artwork for, you know, you know, the next EP and shit like that. And I saw one where it was from the French Revolution, you know. I forgot what King specifically, but uh, showed the guillotine, and I was like, "That's fucking it. That's exactly it. That's what I should write this, you know, next song about." It just, it just seemed, it just seemed perfect. 2017, madre. Boy. El hijo de la chingada. No me crees que es así, pendejo, mamón, mamón. Getting fucking deported. Vete a la pinche casa. Deportation. Deportation, right there. Red flag. Speaking Spanish. I think it's a little more technical. The guitar works a little more. Um, just there's more notey stuff going on. I wasn't really used to the seventh string because I like the transition between using like upper string, you know, and then like fucking later in the song you bust out like the fucking fat string, and then I think the contrast is really awesome. And that's really what I was looking for, and that would inspire me to uh, for that song. For drums, like I said, it's in six eight, so it's got a little more of that like double bass the whole time, like Swedish death metal feel. What I like about To The Guillotine, it's compared to like other stuff I've played, it's more, to me it's more thrashy than anything I've done in the past. Yeah! Go! Chris is killing on these two songs. The last EP, Rest of Crown, he did a good job and uh, I really liked what he did, but he's grooving and he's killing it on these two tracks. He's doing some stuff with his voice that he didn't do last time. Oh, he's pushing himself to expand his range and not just be guttural all the time, which he's really great at, but now he's pushing himself to do some other stuff. It's just this long scream. What I like about Chris's vocals is he reminds me so much of uh, Randy from Lamb God. His voice just reminds me so much of Randy that I just, like, I fell in love with it. He's got these crazy highs that I love so much. <laughs> Myself and Alberto, we constantly compare him to Randy Bly from Lamb God in that way. He's also got these gutturals that... Um, very demonic, very death metal. 
Drink that shit. Drink that shit. Drink that shit. Oh, I love diabetes. Oh. I have a very good working relationship with Roger. We've worked with each other for maybe the past 10 years. For me, it was pretty smooth. Uh, we knocked everything out in a day. It was only two songs. He's like right there listening, listening, and listening, making sure that everything's on time, and if there's something that's messed up, he'll just stop me like, uh, do it again. Uh, he was gentle, he was warm, he was kind, you know? When you're in there and you're tired and you're like, fuck, I can't do this, he's just, he's just like, all right, you know what? It's okay. And, and it just makes me just feel empowered to do better for him. Not even for me, but for him. Let's play that back, because I, I think it sounds like shit. I think you messed up a little bit. <laughs> you kind of cut out. Roger, do we really need a go in here? We don't. But do we need it? Yeah. But do we want it? I, I need it in my life. Yeah, well. Go! But yeah, overall, we had a lot of fun working with Roger. I really had a good time working with Roger. And he's really, really uh, exceeded my expectations. Tony has the groove. There's like a lot of groove in what he writes. As far as what I bring in, it's more like this. You know, it can be pretty thrashy and like straight, straightforward. And I think that we're just evolving that. I, I feel like Guillotine and Dominate that they're miles ahead from what we've done and I really feel uh, they're more mature in the arrangements and the riffing. There's a lot more uh, taste, style in the songs. I think our thing is like really heavy like verses and intros and then choruses that kind of grab you. Fuck staying the same and uh, trying to have the same sound all the fucking time like so many fucking bands do. Oh, I scream to get a try.